Welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video today. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between descriptive and inferential statistics. So in statistics, when you're doing analysis, you can either describe a group or you can try to make an inference on a group. Now sometimes that inferential statistic is called inference on a population. So just before we get started, I want to remind you of the two groups that we talked about in previous videos. We talked about populations and we talked about samples. Now remember, populations are those really big groups that you have, all of the people that you're interested in or the entire group that you're interested in. And so they can be very large, like the population of the United States. And then we talked about samples. Samples are a subset of that larger group and usually that's the group that we're gonna focus on because it's less time consuming, less expensive, and we can still get a lot of information about the population just based on what we know from the sample. So in statistics, you can start with descriptive statistics and those tend to be done on samples where you can describe the group. So for example, I could take a sample of 100 GBSU students and look to find differences in their age. I can look at information on where they live, if they commute. I can look at how many credits they're taking. All of that though, because it's just 100 GBSU students would be a sample. And I can do things to describe that sample. So I can make a graphical display like you see here with a bar graph, or I can do numeric summaries like talk about the average age of those 100 GBSU students. That would be a statistic because it's describing that sample. So with descriptive statistics, they're definitive, right? Because I can't have any wiggle room in that graph. If I say the average age of those 100 GBSU students is 20.4, I'm describing that group. There's no wiggle room. I just said definitively what that average age is for that sample. Then what we usually do is take descriptive statistics and use it to make an inference on the population. So if I had the average age of that 100 GBSU student sample that I took and I said it was 20.4, I might be able to make an inference on the population based on that information. So I could say maybe because the average age of the GBSU student sample that I found was 20.4, I think the average age of the entire GBSU student body is going to be between 19 and 21. So there I just made an inference. And what you notice with an inference or inferential statistics is it's a little looser. You're giving yourself some room for error. So I can say there's evidence to suggest. I can say things like it's between two values, it's greater than, it's not equal to, it's less than. There's some room for error in that. And you also might say things like we are 95% confident. So inferential statistics leaves a little room for error because we're using a sample to talk about a population. And we know that even with our sample being representative of the population, it's not gonna do a perfect job. So we need to give ourselves some room for error. And we're going to be using that sample though to be able to ultimately talk about that population or to be able to make an inference on that population. So those are the two main types of analysis that statisticians can do. You can do a descriptive statistic, or you can do an inferential statistic, where you're actually using those descriptions from a sample to talk about a population. So thank you for clicking on this video today. I hope that I will see you in future videos. Bye-bye.